What is up YouTube? My name is Matt Wasik. Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm a 26 year old digital marketing entrepreneur documenting my journey of building my marketing agency uh, and scaling it up to multiple five figures in monthly revenue. If you want to learn my whole story, I will link below to a video that goes super, super in depth with everything with my previous business and uh, everything else that I've kind of done up to this point. So what I want to do today is basically show you what I'm doing for an end of the year basically sale slash ad campaign, wherever you want to word it as, for my marketing services company. So what I'm doing right now, and we'll be getting into it in a minute, is I'll be showing you one of this, the first broadcast emails that I'll be blasting out to my email list, which is about 500 people right now, and uh, getting them basically up to speed on kind of what my, my methods are with the campaign. Then also going to be showing you the retargeting campaigns that I'm going to be putting to work uh, with the existing pixel that I've had built up over the past couple months or so and also the retargeting list and my email list and everything to let them know that hey we're doing a big discount on our services click here to check it out so basically that's what i'm going to be doing in this whole video is basically showing you real quick just one of the broadcast emails i'll probably be sending out once a day basically through the end of the year maybe not on christmas day but we'll see I i'm pretty adamant about uh work and and like i mentioned in the previous video i'm really passionate about what our products and services can do for our clients so it's one of those things where I feel like I'm doing a disservice to my prospective clients if they're not buying from us because we can help them tremendously in their business endeavor. But that's what we're going to get into. We're going to hop on my computer right now. So let's get into it. So before we get started with creating the actual ad and putting in audiences and targeting and whatever else, let's make sure the pixel is set up properly. So you're going to go into the Facebook ad editor or the ad manager, whatever it is, click pixels here. You're going to be brought over to this page for whichever particular ad account that you are using. So then you're going to click on setup, click copy, paste the code. And there are tutorials for all this from, from Facebook, but that's what I'm going to go through it really quick. Basically click this, copy it. And then you come into your header. WordPress makes this pretty simple. Shopify makes it pretty simple. All those different platforms. Copy the code here. Boom. Good to go for the viewed content. Now, when it comes to having the page set up for the event that you are doing for what the particular person is that they're doing on your site, when, so for example, uh, when someone submits their contact information for us to get started with a potential web design client or, or whatever the service is, they will click it and then they are redirected to this page through the contact form on the page. And this one has a complete registration pixel on the page itself. So basically you copy the same exact code from right here, the pixel, and then you will grab the event code. And for this example, it's a complete registration. So you copy that and you put the script in there. And of course, Facebook has all the, all kinds of tutorials on doing that. So now let's get into actually creating the ad. So let's get into the ad for Facebook retargeting. So if you've never created a Facebook ad before, basically you just go to business.facebook.com, at least if you have your business account set up, which I would definitely recommend doing. That way you can have multiple ad accounts, whether you're running them for clients or running it for multiple businesses or multiple websites that you have and multiple pixels, all that type of cool stuff. So if you want me to do a video that's super, super in depth on kind of doing that, leave a comment below. But basically what I'm doing here is trying to get people to go from this page right here where they answer some questions on, uh, just questions about their business and then they click submit and then also inquiry of their services or that they are interested in, what their budget is, all that type of stuff. Then when they click submit, they land on a page that looks like this and the pixel is fired and says that a registration was completed. So for setting up a retargeting campaign, basically what you're going to want to do is come into your ads manager, just business.facebook.com. I would suggest setting up your business page and then connect it to Facebook and getting it into the ads manager, all that type of stuff, setting up pixels. And they have a ton of tutorials on it. If you want me to go more in depth, leave a comment below and I can do a video on setting that up. It's nice to have multiple accounts and multiple pixels for multiple websites that you have, or if you are running traffic for clients, then you can use different pixels and all that type of cool stuff. So what I'm trying to do with this particular campaign that I'm doing is trying to get people to convert. So basically people, we ask them questions about their business and then they click submit and then they land on a thank you page like this. Uh, we have it set up for registrations, click continue. All right. So what I'm going to do is add these custom audiences that I already could created 
what and if you don't know what a custom audience is basically you go down here you'll click custom audience if you have a list of customers from an existing email list you'll click customer file add the customer file what you're going to need to do is go into a numbers file and make sure they're all listed out one line on each and then you export it as a csv then you upload it here and it will bring it all up and it takes a little bit of time especially if you have a lot of contacts in there but then also what I did was the web traffic from the entrepreneurship website and my marketing landscape business marketing agency site. So then add in these lists. All right, so all the lists have been added here. And since this is a strictly just a retargeting list to people who are already familiar with the brand, there is not going to be any other additional targeting. We're also going to include Canada and Australia. So for placements, I usually will take out the right column and it, sometimes we'll leave instant articles since it is a page and not, it's not necessarily totally like a uh, quick little opt-in page. So there's actually a little bit of content on there. And otherwise the rest of this is all pretty much good. Maybe I'll leave out in Messenger for right now since the audience is really, really small. So we'll set that to five bucks for right now. And then hit continue. All right, so we have the pages set up that we want to market from. We'll just do a single image ad, just trying to get some data right away. Eventually I might do a video ad. We'll see how things go and what I kind of want to do, how I want to go about it. But I uh, got the image selected right here. The coolest thing about Facebook is you can, uh, rather than having to create a super elaborate ad, and if you're doing e-commerce, obviously you're going to need to create images for your products but with something as general as this where it's just web design services you can go into the stock image library that has uh, like millions of images from Shuttershock through Facebook and get access to those images right away. So for the copy, uh, well, first off, the link is right to uh, to this sales page, actually, because we're going to really aim for web design in this one. I'll probably create another ad to retarget to try to get uh, people to opt into this particular form for SEO services because there's a little bit more things that need to be asked. But now, uh, basically for the headline, I have last chance, year end tax reduction sale, and I may change the tax reduction, I may leave it, we'll see how things go. But basically it kind of gets them into the idea of, okay, yeah, it's tax time. Most business owners are aware of this, or it's about to be tax time. Got to reduce how much I need to potentially have to pay in. So. Uh, what I have here is just some basic copy and basically says, hey, get your marketing ready before the spring lawn landscape rush. It's the busiest time of year for most lawn care companies, landscape companies with a web presence that, ooh, that works. Let's change that typo before we turn this ad on. That works for you 24 seven and places your company on a pedestal that your competition simply can't reach. One of the biggest things I had learned and I always try to do with my marketing is from Russell Brunson's, I believe it was dot com secrets, where he had mentioned, or maybe it was expert secrets, one of the two, where you have to have a new opportunity rather than an improvement offer. So basically that's kind of what I'm doing with this. And that's how every single ad that you are creating, especially with a service business or like digital products or info products, it's not so much for e-commerce unless I mean it depends on the product, but it needs to be a new opportunity for them to get where it is they want to go. So what they want, what the, what does the business owner want? They want something that's going to work for them 24 seven, which is a website in this case, and also puts their company miles above the competition in terms of how good their uh, online presence is going to look. So then you can get a 10 page website, interactive WordPress site, tailor made for your company for just 500 bucks, normally a thousand dollars. Get started here. And there's a link right there as well. So I'm just going to do learn more. There, I wish there was a get started button. That'd be sweet. So Facebook, if you're listening. So that is a retargeting ad created for uh, from previous email or not previous emails, previous website visitors and previous or and current email list subscribers. Basically just go through, you set up who has viewed what pages and who you want to target based on the pixel. One thing you need to make sure that you have is the pixels on your page right there. So, uh, and this is a little, just a free Chrome extension. So then next thing that you would need to do is just, uh, click confirm and it'll take a couple of minutes for it to load. Eventually it'll load and it'll probably just say that it's in review and then they'll be turned on. 
I'll be updating you guys in the next couple of days what the results are from this particular uh, ad campaign, see where it goes and, and make some changes as needed. Hopefully it will bring in and recover some potentially lost sales that may have been uh, someone who visited any of the pages without buying. So with that said, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to stay up to date on my journey and get the newest updated content when it comes out here on the channel, be sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button and click the bell for the notification. So that way you know when all these videos are uploaded here to the channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.